huge U.S. biz just became first to require microchip implants in every employee, do you support it? As strange as it sounds, the chipping of the Americans has started. One company from Wisconsin believes that it is the right thing to do for their employees. Apparently, it will exchange an ID card. It will open doors and get through security checkpoints, so, it is meant to be used for companies with high security levels where frauds are expected. Apparently, the GPS on these devices will be disabled and they will be used only to hold information. The chip will be located between the thumb and index finger. This kind of a program is used at the Swedish startup Habepa Center. The chip that is offered to the employees is as big as a grain of rice. It will be used to operate printers, buy smoothies and open doors with a wave of the hand. The co-founder and chief executive of Epicenter, Patrick Mesterton stated, The biggest benefit, I think, is convenience. He demonstrated the chip's ability to open doors. He added, It basically replaces a lot of things you have, other communication devices, whether it be credit cards or keys. Apparently, even Mesterton had trouble to put something in his body. He said, Of course, putting things into your body is quite a big step to do and it was even for me at first. On the other hand, I mean, people have been implanting things into their body, like pacemakers and stuff to control your heart. That's a way, way more serious thing than having a small chip that can actually communicate with devices," he added. Around 150 workers from Epicenter have the chip installed since 2015. A microbiologist at Stockholm's Karolinska Institute Ben Liberton explained that hackers can get a lot of information from the microchips. He explained, the data that you could possibly get from a chip that is embedded in your body is a lot different from the data that you can get from a smartphone. Conceptually, you could get data about your health, you could get data about your whereabouts, how often you're working, how long you're working, if you're taking toilet breaks and things like that. However, the workers of Epicenter have no problem with the chip. The 47 years old Frederick Cage Sir who works as a chief experience officer stated, People ask me, are you chipped? And I say, yes, why not? And they all get excited about privacy issues and what that means and so forth. And for me it's just a matter of I like to try new things and just see it as more of an enabler and what that would bring into the future. The technology improved a lot over the last few years. Some things are just morbid and scary. If these chips get approved, we won't be able to hide our location or occupation no matter what we try. I don't know if we are ready for these microchips. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think. What you think.